What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for Awesomeo.com. I'm taking a look at UFC 240, Max Holloway, Frankie Edgar, a fight that I've been waiting for for a long time. Probably coming a little bit too late for Frankie. Uh, he's coming in off of a win against Cub Swanson, Max Holloway, coming in off a decision loss to Dustin Poirier for the interim lightweight title. I'm not entirely sure this is going to be the best spot for Frankie, but let's take a look at Max and some other things that I like for this card. Right now, Max Holloway coming in $9,400 on DraftKings. He's a minus 370 favorite, a 76% chance to win. He's minus 165 to finish this fight inside a distance, 62% chance there. Honestly, that number felt a little high to me. Edgar has only been finished inside the cage uh recently by brian ortega otherwise it's always a decision so seeing holloway finish edgar would be very interesting holloway just puts on an incredible pace 6.9 significant strikes per minute it's a staggering number you just cannot slow this guy down 83% takedown defense. If Frankie's going to do anything here, he's going to be looking to take Max to the ground, and that is just something that most people don't have the ability to do. Holloway has 100-plus DraftKings points in four of his last five fights, and the only one that he didn't, the 90.5 he put up against Dustin Poirier in the loss. If he gets that decision, he crests that 100-point barrier again. I love Holloway here. If these lines are... To be believed, a 62% chance to finish inside a distance. I'd be very, very surprised if Max Holloway doesn't pay off his price. All right, next up we have Chris Cyborg coming in $9,600 on DraftKings, the most expensive fighter on the UFC 240 card. He is a minus 580 favorite to win 82% chance, minus 460 to finish this fight inside a distance, 77% likelihood. But she's coming in off the knockout loss to Amanda Nunes, and we don't really know how she will respond to that. Maybe it'll really affect her, and she'll come in a little bit more gun-shy. It's not the most likely scenario in my mind. Uh, if I were betting on anything, it'd be Chris Cyborg Hulk smash, but we really just don't know. She's averaged 6.76 significant strikes per minute over her UFC career. But she only had 4.72 in her fight against Holly Holm. And that went the full distance. If Cyborg doesn't put Felicia Spencer away in the first round, she's going to have a hard time paying off that $9,600 price tag. Now, don't get me wrong. She has the best chance of finishing inside a distance than anybody on the card. But she's going to need it. I think the more likely scenario here is that this fight looks a little bit like the Tanya Evinger fight. We see it go into a second round. Uh, the pace slows a bit, but ultimately Felicia Spencer just simply cannot keep up with the talent level of Chris Cyborg. My problem in a GPP is that there are a few other fighters at 9K. I talked about Max Holloway. The next person I'm going to talk about is also in that range. I prefer them. And... It's not that I don't think that Chris Cyborg is going to absolutely smash Alicia Spencer, but I don't think she's the same sort of value as the other people around her price tag. She's mostly a pass for me. Final guy I want to take a look at is Jeff, hands of steel, Neil. He spells hands with a Z, so you know he means business. Coming in at $9,000, $600 cheaper than Cyborg, I might add. He's a minus 345 favorite, 75% chance to win. Minus 215 to finish inside a distance, 68% likelihood there. The three fighters that I'm touching on are the three fighters that have the highest opportunity to finish this fight or their fights. He's averaged 5.95 significant strikes per minute over his three UFC fights. Uh, Neil came in from the Contender Series previously. Good news for Neil. 4.29 significant strikes absorbed per minute for his opponent, Nico Price. Neil has put his opponents on the canvas twice in each of his last two fights. The last fight of which, coming against Bilal Muhammad, who is not exactly an easy out, was able to pick up the decision there. Uh, Nico Price has only been to decision once in 16 fights. It's always a finish, either him or his opponent. 
And I think that plays pretty nicely into Jeff Neal's hands. He's just a better fighter, uh, full stop, than Nico Price. And I expect him to put on a really nice showing and have the ability to perhaps crack the top 15 of the welterweight division after this fight. He'll be four now. He'll be looking to make some moves. I feel like Neil has a much higher likelihood of a big day. And you get the savings of $600 in comparison to Cyborg. So if I'm starting out any builds, uh, I'm looking at Max Holloway. I'm looking at Neil Cyborg coming in a little bit behind both of those guys. All right, everybody, that is just a quick look at three of my more intriguing fighters for this Saturday's UFC 240 card. If you want any further information, however, you're going to need to sign up. Head to awesomeo.com slash join. Use the promo code KNOCKOUT for 50% off your first month with us. Any monthly package you choose, including our packages with Fantasy Cruncher, if you're trying to check us out, all you have to do is use the promo code KNOCKOUT. That is one word. You can get Osimo's projections, our ownership projections, which to me are invaluable in preparing my lineups so that I can get a feel for where the public is going to be. I'll be in our premium Slack channel taking questions uh, prior to the start of the card on Saturday. So if you're really interested in checking out what we have to offer, again, head to awesomeo.com slash join. Use the promo code knockout on any monthly package you choose. And come check out what we have to offer. Best of luck this weekend.